Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians at Cleveland Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Jack Morris, whose record is 8-4 with a 3.74 ERA. And pitching today for the Indians is John Denny, whose record is 5-10 with a 3.82 ERA. And so yesterday we had a colossal victory over the Brew Crew. We had three home runs from Henderson, Parrish, and Jeffrey Leonard. And uh, Dave Rosema got his ninth win on the season, going six and a third innings, uh, giving up just two uh, runs. One of, uh, both of those were on a home run by uh, Jim Pachorek. I almost forgot what happened yesterday. And uh, so, yeah, it was a great victory. Uh, then we had the day off, so I've already pl advanced past this day. So in having that day off, we did lose a half game to the Yankees, who won. And so we're five games back with, what is it, 15 games to go. So not in a great place uh, necessarily, but um, I like our record, and we are <laughs> closing the gap. Uh, I've, I've said it before, I, I, it still astonishes me that... Um, our 50 victories would be uh, good enough to be in first place in the West. And yet we sit fifth in the East, and we're playing the last place Cleveland Indians today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's game. I um, just want to remind everybody that starting tomorrow, I have my uh, Christmas in July contest. And it's going to run from uh, tomorrow all the way to the 25th. I'm going to give away something from my personal collection uh, each day. You can still enter um, up until midnight tonight. And so um, if you want to enter, you first of all have to be a subscriber. And if you are, that's fantastic. If not, what are you waiting for? This is your opportunity to subscribe to the channel. And then in the comments below, let me know that you want to be in the contest. And that'll give you an opportunity to win uh, one of the seven prizes that I'll be giving away this week. So at the end of this video, uh, right about in this spot here, there will be a um, video that you can watch which shows what I will be giving away um, for that contest, if you're curious. so um, Okay, so Jack Morris on the mound today. He's won three in a row. He's given up only one run in 36 innings pitched, bringing his ERA down, looking pretty strong. Uh, we're going to a four-man rotation. So uh, that means we have Tom Filer in a mop-up role. Uh, so we'll have um, plenty of bullpen help available. Ho hopefully we won't need it against the Indians. Here's our lineup today. Basically the same as yesterday, although I do have uh, Reggie in there instead of Gary Hancock. And then um, I've moved Brookins down to the ninth spot. And Greg Brock is batting in the eighth position. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for Detroit. Batting leadoff in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and in right field is Jeff Leonard. Batting 7th and DHing is Reggie Jackson. Batting 8th at 1st base is Greg Brock. And batting ninth at 3rd base is Tommy Brookins. John Denny on the mound for the Indians. He's 5-10 on the season. He is their ace. Uh, he's their number one overall starter. And uh, he's got that 382 ERA, which is pretty decent for a last place team. 81 Ks and 153 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 257. He's got four complete games, and I know we've seen him a couple of times. Yeah, there we go. So um, he took the loss back in May as he um, pitched pretty well. Gave up three runs in eight innings. And then on June 19th, he pitched a complete game and lost. So he was uh, in <laughs> – I did uh, put him in the game, in the All-Star game, and he pitched one inning. And uh, – there was some conjecture that I might have left him in there a little bit longer. We might have <laughs> had a better game uh, for the American League. 
But uh, there's the uh, defensive alignment for the Indians. And here is Ricky Henderson leading off against John Denny. Five for 18 with three walks. And there we go. Base hit to right field to start off the game. And their catcher is Chris Bando, who's got an 82 uh, arm, which is above average. So why don't we hold on Henderson and let's see if the offense can uh, keep things humming after those 12 runs yesterday. Ground ball to second. Henderson tossed out at second base. So there's the first out of the game. Whitaker on first for Trammell. Trammell got off the schneid yesterday. He was in a huge slump. And then he follows that up with a uh, double play here, 4-6-3. So not a good start. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Indians lineup. Batting leadoff at second base is Kevin Romberg. Batting second in center field is Rick Manning. Batting third at DH is Carl Pagel. Betting cleanup in right field is Dan Pasqua. Betting sixth in catching today is Chris Bando. Betting seventh at first base is Andre Thornton. Betting seventh in left field is Joe Charbonneau. Betting eighth at shortstop is Jerry Dibzinski. And betting ninth at third base is Dave Rosello. We'll take a quick look here at Jack. Let's go. There we go. There it is. 20th start on the season. 8-4 with that 374 ERA. 84 Ks and 132 innings pitched. Opponent's only batting 240 against him. He's got four complete games, two shutouts. Take a look at his log. Three wins in a row. Complete game shutout. Complete game shutout. And eight innings giving up one run. So uh, he's having a pretty nice roll right now. And um, he did have a complete game shutout against the Indians. And I guess that's the only time uh, that he's faced him this year. So uh, I like that. He hasn't given up a run against the Indians this season. So there's the Detroit defensive alignment. And here's Kevin Romberg leading off for the Indians. Four for 14 against Morris. Oh, man. Morris walks Romberg, who uh, has pretty good speed. He's got 30 stolen bases. He's third in the American League behind uh, Henderson and Rusty McNeely. Romberg steals second, so make it 31. Runner on second then with uh, Rick Manning up, a 1-0 count. Come on. As Romberg steals third. So a walk and two stolen bases. Romberg standing on third. A 2-0 count to Rick Manning. And he strikes him out. There we go. So one down. Now we're going to pull the infield in. If we can uh, keep it in the infield here, then we might get out of this inning without giving up a run. Hey, strikes him out. Well done. Back-to-back -back, uh, strikeouts for Morris. And here's Dan Pasquale. Last time we saw him, he was batting like 110. So it looks like he's heating up a little bit. Batting 203 versus righties. Ground ball, base hit. Past the first baseman, Brock, and it's one to nothing. So uh, RBI single for Pasqua. He's on first for Chris Bando. Bando hits a ground ball to Trammell. Trammy tosses him out. So we're going to the top of the second. One nothing Cleveland. Here is Gibby leading off against John Denny. Mm, weak ground ball right back to Denny. One down. Next up is Parrish. He had a big home run yesterday. Flips it to right. Play is made by Pasqua. Two down for Jeff Leonard. And Leonard rips it to left. And it's caught at the wall by the left fielder, Charbonneau. So, a couple well-struck balls, but uh, nothing to show for it. We go to the bottom of the second. Andre Thornton leading off. Ground ball to third base. Brookins throws him out. One down. Super Joe Charbonneau 
up next. Ground ball to short. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's the Dibber, Jerry Dibzinski, popping it up on the infield. So a strong comeback inning for Morris. 1-0, we're going to the top of the third. Reggie Jackson, I keep thinking that he is so due for a big game. Maybe hits three home runs or something, but he's got no power. And, I mean, he's still got two years left on his contract. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Denny. And then Brookens grounds out to third. I kind of feel like I should have been running with Henderson uh, because we didn't take advantage of that hit, and uh, we've got nothing to show for it through three innings. So we go to the bottom of the third. Here's Dave Rosello playing third base today, and he's got a base hit to right. Second hit for Cleveland. Next up is Kevin Romberg, and a base hit to right. Okay, uh, so first and third. Um, man, we can't afford to give up any more runs. I don't think we have a choice here, but we'll pull the infield in. Ground ball to first. And we do get the lead runner out at home. So we keep the Indians off the board for now. First and second with uh, Carl Pagel up. Pagel, I believe he's third in the American League with home runs with 15. Ground ball to short. Let's turn two. There we go. 6-4-3 double play. And we do get out of that mini jam. We go to the top of the fourth with Ricky Henderson leading off. He's got six hits against Denny. Make it seven. Base hit down the right field line all the way to the wall. He's got himself a double. We got to go for three. Pass ball. Good arm though. Man, Henderson always gets thrown out. Yeah, he's going to be safe with a triple so that's a rare uh, occurrence for Ricky Henderson I think I mentioned in another video that he only had 66 career triples uh, so that's kind of a kind of a big deal that he got a triple there ground ball to the right side by Whitaker that should get a run in there we go tie it up RBI for Sweet Lou one down. Here's Trammell. Trammell ground ball to second. Trammell's average is down to 293. That is unbelievable. And then Gibson grounds out to second. Yeah, Trammell was at 317, I believe, before he went on the um, six-game hitless streak. And then he got that hit yesterday, or I guess technically two days ago in um, the calendar days, so... Okay, we're going to the bottom of the fourth. We've tied it up at one with Dan Pasquale leading off. Oh, he shoots it into center field. Gets over Henderson's head, and Pasquale has himself a double. Four hits now for Cleveland. Ground ball to the left side by Bando. That can't advance Pasquale. So Pasquale holds it second base for Andre Thornton. Thornton strikes out. Three Ks for Morris. Next up is Joe Charbonneau. Charbonneau shoots it to right. And Jeff Leonard makes the catch. So they leave a runner stranded in scoring position. And we go to the top of the fifth with Lance Parrish leading off. Parrish walks. Runner on first. We're going to hit and run with Jeff Leonard. Stay out of the double play here. Ground ball to second. Parrish. Safe at second base. The only play was to first. Okay, Reggie, come on, man. We need something big from you here. Pops it up. What a chump. Two down. Parrish on second base for Greg Brock. Brock has all been all but been uh, useless as he walks here. Two walks and two Ks now for Denny. Going to leave it up to Brookins. Brookins' batting average versus righty's down to 243 now. And he strikes out. What a bummer. All right, we're going to the bottom of the fifth. I like those games where we score 12 runs. 
And I don't have to worry about this. We should be crushing a last place team. Morris walks Dibzinski, the light hitting shortstop. Batting under 200 and no home runs. But he couldn't find the plate. Ground ball, base hit past Trammell. Come on. This is stupid. First and second now with Kevin Romberg up. Nobody out. Morris gets Romberg to pop it up on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. Actually short left field, but the play is made by Trammell. One down, here is Rick Manning. Bay, uh, nope, I'm ground ball is short. I thought it was going to be up the middle. It's hard to tell at this tilted angle, but it turns into a double play. And a little sigh of relief as uh, we get through that inning. We head to the top of the six. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Player of the game so far, I guess it has to be Ricky Henderson. He's got the only two hits. That's uh, That looks pretty sad there. So uh, I guess maybe player of the game thus far is uh, Henderson, perhaps Jack Morris. And here's Ricky. Hitting a fly ball into the right center field gap. Caught by the right fielder Pasquale. One down. Next up is Sweet Lou. And Lou gets a hit into right center field. All the way to the wall. Do we want to go for an inside the park home run? That's yes, but look at this. He's not even a third base yet. Uh, but when do we see this? I mean, Pasquale's got a good arm. We're going to say yes. He is safe and inside the park. Home run from Sweet Lou. That is his 11th on the season. That is awesome. Uh, that was really cool. We'll take it. So it's 2-1 to one on the inside the parker, giving the Tigers a lead. Trammell can't get it out of the infield anymore. Two down. And then Gibby... Off the end of the bat, shoots it to center. Oh, man, it just died at the wall. That is the third out. Tigers have the 2-1 to one lead now as we go to the bottom of the six. Morris at 83 pitches, and he's really not been that effective. He's got uh, a couple of lefties and a switch hitter due up. Come on. Pagel walks. He does walk a lot in this game. He had 84 walks last year. Uh, and 34 through our, um, through, I guess, 85 games played for him, so. Okay, runner on first, nobody out. Dan Pasqua up next, and a guy with sub-80 speed steals second base. That's, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It is his third stolen base on the year, probably all against Detroit. So runner on second, Dan Pasqua up next. Ground ball to the left side. Pagel's going to hold. So Cleveland would do well with laying down a, a bunt occasionally. Maybe not from their cleanup hitter, but um, I tried to hit to the right side at least. That Just like that, Bando hits a ground ball to Whitaker. Pagel takes third. That's the tying run at third base. Here is Andre Thornton. Guy's got some thump. He shoots it to right. It's going to die out there, though. And that's the third out as uh, Jeffrey Leonard makes the play. We're going to the top of the seventh, 2-1 to one Detroit. Only three hits for the Tigers. Parrish hits a ground ball to second. Here's Jeffrey Leonard. Oh, man, our team... We have a big blowout like we did yesterday, and then today we cannot get anything going. Reggie. Oh, he might get it to the outfield. He does. That feels like he's accomplished something. So it's the third out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Super Joe Charbonneau. One for ten against Morris, betting only 202 versus righties. This will be Morris's last inning. Uh, he doesn't really have it today, despite only giving up one run in, in the first and going five without giving up another. Just doesn't feel like he's got it today. Inside pitch to Zim Dibzinski, and he does have base hit. So the uh, 8, 9, and 
one hitters have four of the hits. Dibzinski on first for Rosello. He's two for two. Morris has not got him out yet. Hey, there we go. Strike out right down the pipe. Four Ks for Morris. It's going to leave it up to Kevin Romberg. Ground ball to first. And all Brock's got to do is step on the bag. He does. We're going to the top of the eighth. Detroit um, maintains a run, one run lead. Greg Brock leading it off. Crappy little ground ball to second. Tom Brookins. Man, John Denny. He is a better than his record. I mean, you have to give him some credit. And he was an all star, so it's not like he's a total schmuck, but um, he's. He's uh, putting it to us right now as Henderson strikes out. That's crazy. Okay, so Morris, we have uh, three lefties and a switch hitter. So this is an easy call as we bring in Tom, I'm um, sorry, Pat Underwood. I almost said Tom Underwood, who's his brother. Uh, Underwood, definitely coming into the game. He does well against lefties. Oops, lefties are batting 180 against him. They've had a little bit more success lately. 4-4 four four record, sub-3 e, uh, ERA, 19 Ks and 36 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 211. He's got five saves. He has blown four opportunities. Uh, but we're using him as a setup man here today. Rick Manning batting 241 versus lefties. And, of course, he gets an easy base hit to right. Runner on first. I feel like he's going to be going, even with Carl Pagel up. Pagel batting 130 versus lefties. Yep, he was going, but this time Parrish guns him down. So what is that? One for four for Parrish today on stolen base attempts. But couldn't have better timing. That's one down. Bases are empty now for Pagel. And then Underwood walks Pagel. Okay, runner on first. Here's Dan Pasqua. He's batting 129 versus lefties. Strikes him out looking. And uh, that's the second out. Chris Bandle, switch hitter. Batting 276. I guess we have to let him try to get him out. Base hit the left, and that'll be it. Underwood, terrible. Terrible outing. Couldn't get any of the lefties out. Um, so we're going to bring in... We're going to bring in Dave Patterson. Uh, he deserves another opportunity here to... Get out of the doghouse. He took the loss uh, against um, Milwaukee in that one game. We lost in the, uh, uh, what was it, ninth, at, bottom of the ninth. So 17 games, 1-2 and two record, 245 ERA, 10 Ks in 18 innings, a 210 opponent's batting average. And he's got to face the tough Andre Thornton. Thornton been 294 versus righties. Ground ball up the middle. Whitaker makes the play. We get out of the inning. And we go to the top of the ninth. Sweet Lou will lead it off three for 20 in his career against uh, John Denny. I love that we're at a point now where we're seeing <clears throat> some uh, decent sample sizes. And uh, the struggles continue as he pops it up on the third base chalk. Play is made by Rosella. One down. Alan Trammell up next. He's 0 for 3 and in a huge slump. Hey, base hit to right. He got a pitch he could hit the other way. Base hit. That is only the fourth hit for Detroit today. Uh, Denny's over 107 pitches. With that endurance, he could probably go to 120. Let's hit and run with Gibby. Try to get something going. Ground ball to second. Gibby's out. That's his. Uh, he's 0 for 4 on the day as Trammell takes second base. It's going to be up to Parrish to be the hero. Get an insurance run right here. Oh, man, that was a good pitch to hit as he sends a fly ball into left field. And that is going to do it for the Tigers' half of the ninth. So we're going to the bottom of the ninth. We're going to bring in the closer, Tom Hume. And uh, he's, he's had some struggles of late. This is his 19th game. 2-2 two two record, 3.06 ERA, 11 Ks and 17 innings pitched. 
He's got four saves, two blown, and he has given up runs in his last two appearances. Uh, he got a vulture win, though, in the last one. So, uh, I don't feel good about this, but this is what he does. This is, he's the closer, and Charbonneau's only batting 201. Only time he's faced him, he struck out. Ground ball to third. Brookins. On cue, commits an error. So we're going to bring the corners in. You know he's going to be bunny. He's got a 97 bunt. Try to get uh, Charbonneau to second base. Yeah, everybody in the park knew it. Ground ball first, and it's successful. This doesn't feel good. Um, so Rosello has no speed. we got to bring the outfield in so nothing falls in. Um, I don't think it makes a difference, but we'll see here. And he walks him. All right, uh, so it's going to be tough to turn a double play with Romberg. He's got a lot of speed, uh, as you can tell with his two stolen bases today. This will be Hume's last batter. We're bringing a lefty, but this is uh, not good. There we go, Romberg popping it up on the infield. Can Brookins make this play? He does. Two down. Hume grabs some bench. We're going to, I'm going to go with George Capizello. He leads our team in saves. He was our closer, uh, sort of by proxy. Um, let's take a look at his splits. I mean, lefties are hitting better against them. Well, not great, two, 246, but um, we only need to get one out here. Four and two, 478 ERA, and uh, 24 Ks in 32 innings pitched. Overall, opponents are betting 215. And he's got the tough Rick Manning up. He swings at everything. He doesn't walk. You can see there versus lefties. All right, it's the ball game. Long fly ball into left center field, and it dies at the wall. Oh, my gosh. My heart was in my throat. Two to one, Tigers win. We needed that only on four hits. And uh, let's take a look at the standings. Did we gain any ground? We did, and we leapfrogged over Milwaukee, finally. We've been in the five spot pretty much the whole season. Uh, we've worked hard to get ourselves into the number four position. Uh, we did gain a game, so we're four back. New York, Boston, and Baltimore. Uh, all only within one game. California closing the gap to one game. Let's, well, for the hell of it, let's take a look at the National League. Oh, look at that. The Phillies are eliminated, and Atlanta is eliminated as well. So a couple teams already out of it, but this um, looks like uh, both of those divisions are all but settled. So St. Louis versus Houston in the National League, that'll be interesting. Let's take a look at the transactions. Oh, there is a trade. Okay, so... Former Detroit Tiger Rick Leach and Michigan Wolverine quarterback. Rick Leach gets traded from the Cardinals to the Yanks for B.J. Surhoff's older brother, Rich Surhoff. And uh, he goes into single A for the Cardinals. And Rick Leach goes to AAA. So why was that important to make? I don't know. Um, but they got seven hundred, almost seven hundred thousand dollars. So maybe there was it was all about the money. Uh, Steve Carlton gets his career three thousand three thousandths strikeout. That's pretty impressive. Uh, and then a couple injuries there. Mark Thurman and Jim Clancy out for the rest of the season. Probably their best pitcher this season. Okay, so let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget the contest tomorrow, man. You got to uh, get in on that. I'm giving stuff away for free. I'm even paying for shipping. What a guy. Let's take a look at the box score. Who is the player of the game? I think we have to give it to uh, Morris because the offense didn't really do much. Um, Ricky Henderson did get a couple of hits, but not that exciting. Uh, Whitaker did drive in both runs. I guess that's kind of decent. One was a um, 
a uh, on a ground ball fielder's choice, and the other one was uh, that base hit. Um, and then, uh, but Morris, yeah, we're going to give it to Morris. He's 9-4 on the year. Good job by him. His fourth victory in a row. George Capazello comes in and uh, gets the lefty out to get his seventh save, team-leading seventh save. Who would have thunk it? John Denny takes another hard loss. He's 5-11 and 11 on the year. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's going to do it. Oh, I said uh, it was a home run. It was inside the park home run. Gosh, that does deserve it, though, doesn't it? Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to give it to Morris still, but um, I don't know. I, I would listen to a conversation for Sweet Lou inside the park game-winning home run. Uh, that's going to do it. We'll be back tomorrow with game two of the short two-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great afternoon.